What's going on, everybody, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Phoenix. As I'm recording this video, we are so very close to 100 subscribers. We're currently sitting on 99. So if you would, please go down and hit that subscription down below in addition to the bell uh, to get notified whenever I upload in addition to the like button if you do like today's content. But that brings me to what we're doing today. Back for Blood is a game that I just found out about uh, yesterday, I believe, uh, maybe earlier this morning. Um, and it's kind of, from what I understand, like a Left 4 Dead 3, effectively, uh, because everybody from Valve that was doing Left 4 Dead has moved uh, to a different studio and is no longer working with Valve. So I don't think they can legally use Left 4 Dead. Um, but we're going to be looking at this trailer, uh, the official release trailer, in addition to the game, or not the gameplay, the uh, like character breakdown, I think. So, let's see what this game has to offer. All right, so here we are with the Back for Blood official release trailer. I haven't seen this. It's just my first time watching this, and let's see what this game really is about and see how close to Left 4 Dead it is. Let me put on my headphones before I forget. All right, now we're ready to go. Let's see what this game is. Okay, your typical zombie environment. Okay, someone's going above you. Gotcha. Cool. Okay. I'm here for it. We're surviving here. There it is. The creators of Left 4 Dead. Makes sense. Slime is not enough. We've got to fight. Now we don't need to do anything. Alright, when was the last time you saw written in any numbers? Hmm? Oh, this is this is absolutely nothing to do with this trailer, but I don't know why this really bothers me. The fact that he's using an assault rifle or something for this little bit here. That it sounds just like a shotgun, like shot, cock, and shoot again. Just the music behind it. Take it here. Shot, pop, shot. I don't know, it seems like it'd be a great spot for a, for a shotgun thing. Ooh, that looks creepy. I liked it. Ooh, it can leap super far. Is that supposed to be a, um, kind of like a jockey from Left 4 Dead? I wonder. Because that would make sense. And I think I saw a, a charger earlier. Or a Boomer, I don't remember which one. No rest for the wicked. Okay. For the spitter? Or what they're calling a spitter, or what they're using as a the spitter as? God, I love Mondays. I know I hate Mondays, but fair enough. That's an ogre type looking thing. Is that a boomer? What is that giant snake? I just realized, I hope this music isn't copyright. PvP mode? Okay, cool. Nice. So it's not just a, like, campaign type of game. You're going to be able to play with just, like, a couple friends and stuff. There's a lot of characters involved in this. Like, a lot of survivors. What was that massive thing? That looks terrifying. Uh, this game comes out October 12th. I know it's free, or not free, but I know, yeah, so there's an open beta which started uh, on Friday as I'm recording this video. And I heard that there is another one starting Thursday via the 12th. So if you, uh, if you're still able to get into it, I'm going to try and get into it. Uh, if you're in, if you're able to get into it, let me know down below in the comments, um, and then also uh, what you guys think of the game. We're also going to look at the, uh, the character trailer that I saw when I posted as well after this. We'll get a little more of this. 
Never mind, it was just the Xbox logo. Oh okay, yeah, so play it day one with Game Pass. Alright, so this is now, as you see, the official character and zombie trailer. So I'm going to see if that one that we saw was a, uh, was a, a jockey and a boomer and a spinner. So let's see. Gameplay looks really relatively like basic, which I really like. That's me. So you're probably wondering how we got here. A scary worm yeah. turned everyone into monsters. Okay, so they're going the worm virus type of idea. It's out there, but that's why they call us cleaners. Allow me to introduce the team. Okay, cleaners is what the survivors are called. The guy everybody can depend on. Just doing my job. War torn veteran. Grenades seem very useful. Oh, here, okay. Precision kills increase accuracy, cool. And then I'm assuming that's dam plus uh, increase in damage and increase in team health for the rest of your team, I wonder. So I'm assuming just from how I look at games, uh, the first the first line is going to be what this character can do, and then the other two, or the last one, however many each character has, is going to be like a team-wide spread. Um, so this one looks like somebody that's super on for accuracy and stuff. Be interesting to see. Check me. Need a prescription for pain? Okay, healer. The ox sounds Not pretty obvious. She's just as good at blasting ridden as she is at keeping everybody on the was a scalpel. Except for that guy. Okay, low health deals bonus. Okay. So if you're low on health, you get bonus damage. Cool. Healing okay, so you're quicker at healing, makes sense. And then team trauma. I wonder what trauma resistance would be. Would that be like the I'm thinking of Left for Dead stuff, but like the the vomit or whatever it was from the spinner is that what it is or is there something else that this game's gonna use it's like trauma resistance or something carly's head's on a swivel carly cool. something smells bad and for once it is not okay so you can okay cool sense hazard which is really cool plus one quick inventory i wonder if that's like quick meds or something like that and then Team use speed. So I guess, are you faster in using, like, meds or something like that, I wonder? That'd be interesting to kind of look at once this game really comes out, or um, if you're able to get into the uh, the beta and stuff to, to test out, which I'm going to try and do. Carly is... Does she ever shut up? Blunt. Hey, we got a resident Jenny sniper, Zara. cool. ADS speed, which is good for sniping, makes sense. Weak spot damage, so you actually do more damage if you hit weak spots of... of Zombies and precision kill. Cool. Okay. So the more the more one shot kills you get with the sniper, the more damage you're gonna do in the long run. Is what it seems to me. Our seasoned marksman. Crack shot, lethal at 500 yards. That's gotta Ooh, hurt. That's nice. That's Hoffman. He weirdly dig. Spawns ammo with kills. Plus one offensive item. Okay, so there's multiple item slots and then capacity. That's just nice. He weirdly digs this whole apocalypse thing. He always comes prepared. Molotovs, cool. To blow shit up. I got this. This is Evangelo. Evangelo, cool. Survivor and the newest member of the team. Breaks out of grabs. Okay, cool. Stay in a region for the team and you and you move faster. That that seems like somebody that you should have on your team playing this game. For sure. Ah, no man, no. Same with Doc. And that's mom. At least that's what we call her because she's tough. Doesn't take shit from anybody and always knows exactly what to say. So that that looks like what an ammo crate's gonna look like or something, or finding guns on the ground. That blue case right here, it looks like you're gonna be able to find ammo or something like that laying around in this kind of stuff. So keep an eye out for that when you're playing the game. Exactly what to say. Welcome to the shit show. She might not have brought And you can use explosive barrels. Just don't expect a trophy. But if you're a ridden. She'll take you out of it. Instant. Okay, interesting. So you in, you instantly revive somebody where you're playing as mom, as a mother character. I, I understand why. Extra support inventory and team extra life. I wonder what the team extra life is. Huh? Because I know in Left 4 Dead, if somebody died earlier on in a round, you're able to bring them back. They're locked in a closet or something. I don't exactly remember. But I wonder if you're going to be able to do that in extra time if she's on your team. Would make sense. It Wait. The bat. My name is Hawk. Dottie's the bat. Makes sense. 
just your run of the mill college kid with a baseball bat. What was her? My name is Holly. Just Stam okay, so stamina increase with or for tub with with kills makes sense. Resistance to damage as a team. Okay, so you take less damage and you have more stamina. With her. Cool. She seems like another one that you kind of need. So Holly, Evangelo, and Doc. Of course. Okay, cool. Now the zombies. Or the Raiden. In this. So. That's what I thought was the boomer. Or that was the boomer. Oh, it actually isn't over. We call them meatballs. This is the snitch. Okay, so not a spitter. Like Jeez. So he'll scream and yell at and yell at That's terrifying. So it looks like that's the the, the charger right there with the big one arm and the weak other one. Um and maybe that's the boomer? I don't know. It did look like that. Alright, so it looks like there's eight total characters, but you only get four on a team, so you're going to have to choose uh, who you want on the team. I'm super interested in this game. This game looks uh, like a lot of fun. I'm going to try and get into the, uh, the, the open beta and stuff uh, for this upcoming weekend. But if you have enjoyed today's video, please go down and hit that subscribe button. In addition to hitting the bell and the like button and all that kind of stuff, I'm so very close to 100 subscriptions. That does mean quite a bit to me. But for now, enjoy your weekend or your week. This video should be going up on Tuesday uh, the 10th. Tuesday the 10th is when the video should be going up. But for now, take care. Peace.